Hi everyone, it's me, Valerie, and I am back. I decided I would go ahead and quickly do a second video. I got my paper pumpkin in the mail. I haven't e opened this. I haven't seen any sneak peeks online yet because I wanted to be completely surprised when I opened this one. So let's open it together and see what is inside. I hope you ordered this kit for this month. I think the box is super adorable with that. Um, image with the rain girl, little girl. I'm assuming it's a little girl in a raincoat with um, rubber boots on. Um, the kit is called No Matter the Weather, March 2020, and the back is just clouds. I think that's adorable. I'll flip that back over. Make sure my video is up here, just so I know that you all are seeing what I want you to see. I don't want it to be all over the place. Perfect. It is. So if you're joining, let me know you're here. Say hi. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. So now we have two stamp sets and we have a basic gray stamping spot. I'm not sure which one is the bonus stamp set. I think this is the bonus stamp set. So in the first stamp set we have, you are capable of amazing things, let love grow, no matter the weather, we're in this together. Um, that kind of is perfect for right now. Wishing you brighter days ahead. We've got a few clouds, a flower, some little raindrops, some hearts. Um, that looks like probably some uh, little ground. And then same thing, little dirt or ground or some texture for the clouds maybe. And then in the bonus stamp set, oh my gosh, we have the galoshes. We have I Believe in You, a little rabbit, which would be cute for some Easter cards, some flowers, um, some stems with some little flowers on it. And the flower pot here, these flowers probably stamp in the flowers here. And then a cute little front door that's adorable and then these floral prints to fill in these galoshes with that's super cute I love this I love that this is our bonus stamp set so look what you got in this kit two stamp sets this month same price the extra stamp set so I hope you did not miss out here it shows um, some add some spring to your crafts with your free framp free stamp set. Combine your new Spring Splash, which is this stamp set, with the items inside your March kit and other Stampin' Up! products and make a splash with your one-of-a-kind projects. Isn't that cute? I love all of those projects. Those are super cute. Nothing on the back of that, so let's see what our kit has so we can make what's inside our kit. Let me get that box out of the way. Oh my gosh, look at those cards. Those are super adorable. All right, let's open this up and make one of each. Are you home this week? Are you working? I know some of us have already been um, told we cannot go to work, those kind of things. So if you are one of those people, I hope you enjoy your time off. I hope it's not too crazy where you live. We have some little epoxy raindrops. Those are gorgeous. Those are just clear. We have some glue dots. We have some, looks like granny apple green and white baker's twine. We have our dimensionals. We have our little envelopes and our little envelopes. Oh, I love when they have like a pattern on the inside. So we have our little envelopes with our pattern on the inside. And we have some pre-printed cards. So let's see, we have Four of these pre-printed cards with the little girl in the galoshes. We have, oh my god, these little die cuts with the galoshes and the bunnies and some floral images. Four sheets of those. That's fantastic. Four sheets of those. We have one sheet of these, I think. We have four of these cards with the rainscape, I guess you'd call it. The blue sky and the gray ground. And then the grass with the stormy sky. We have four of those as well. All right, so let's grab our directions, which are somewhere here. Here they are. And we're gonna put one of each of these together and see what we get. See how cute they are. All right, so let's flip this up. And the first thing we wanna do is stamp our sentiments on our labels and stamp extra texture on our card bases. Now we only have the one color, so that is what we're gonna use. We are gonna use basic gray. I'm gonna grab my large pad so I can save this to give away as a gift. 
I'm gonna put my extra stamp set to the side and we will just start with, I'm gonna have each of these cards. So we'll get one of each card out just so we have them ready to go. I hope you have this kit. I really hope you got this kit. This is a fantastic kit. I'm so excited about this silly kit and I know it's just because it has so many extra stamps in it. It's fun when you have extra stamps. Hi Aunt Sherry. Let me grab a couple of blocks. We're gonna add some of these extra clouds. It looks like they added some extra clouds. So we'll add this one. We will add this funky shaped one. And it looks like they added it. Let me look at the actual color photo just to see. They definitely added to this card here with the grass, with the clouds. So we'll do that one first. Go ahead and give your card a good fold. Give it a good crease, flip it back around and then add some basic gray clouds on there. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? With that extra, little bit of extra texture. Add some of these funky shaped clouds in there. I don't know what else to call those, but funky shaped, because they're like a little L. We'll even put one right there. And then go ahead and clean those off, because then we can just reuse these same blocks. You don't have to get 20 blocks out. You just use a couple. And then we want to add some raindrops to this one, I think. I'm gonna have to look at the photo again just to make sure because sometimes when I don't have the photo right in front of me, I can't see everything on here, so I have to look at the photo. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Thank you for joining. Yeah, so it looks like they stamped some raindrops on the backdrop of this and then some of the little soil on this part here. So let's get our cards folded. We're gonna kind of work on all three of them at the same time, why not? I think it's kind of fun, get them all, get them all done. We've got our background on that one. We need this little soil stamp. If I can get it off of my finger <laughs> for this one. And then we need these little raindrops, which I don't quite need this big of a block, so I'm gonna grab a smaller block. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up with ink all over the block. We need a much smaller block for the raindrops. Do that gray again. Add that on here and just kind of stamp on and off the card. Kind of keeping your pattern kind of a little bit jagged so it's not all the same all the way across. And then we can probably take that off because we aren't going to need that anymore, I don't think. And then we will do our little raindrops. And you can do as many or as few as you want on these. I'm gonna put quite a few on here because she is wearing her rain jacket and she has her umbrella. And I think she just needs some raindrops all over this entire card. Some of them I've got coming down a little bit sideways, so it's a little windier in some areas than other, apparently. We'll just go all the way down, why not? A little bit on that corner, perfect. That's it, just give it a little bit of extra texture for that background. And then, now that that one's cleaned, we can just put that over there. No, you don't see, I have my little chamois off to the side. Um, I hope you get yours in the mail too soon, Kathy. It is a cute little set. I just got mine and I was like, I have to show everyone how adorable this is. So the next step we want to stamp on some of our labels. And for this card, the stamp set they, they used is the one that says, you are capable of amazing things. So let's just get that one inked up and we will put that on that balmy blue label. Get that one stamped. And then for this one with the clouds, we need this one that says, no matter the weather, we're in this together. So let's grab that one. 
no matter the weather, we're in this together and we'll just use the big stamp, the big block for it, why not? And then we need the let love grow for our other one, which I have that extra block here so we can do both. So on this little stitch circle is where you're gonna wanna put no matter the weather. Of course, if you're going exactly according to what their photo is, which is what I'm doing right now. And then let love grow. And we'll put on that petal pink die cut right there. That one goes with this one. No matter the weather goes with this one. Then we need some of our other little die cuts. Let me grab those sheets of die cuts. So for this one, it shows the row of galoshes. So we're gonna punch those out. When I see these little punch outs, it just reminds me of when I was a kid and we would have little craft projects and things at Sunday school when I was a kid. And we would have to punch them out. I just remember that is the first time punching little die cuts out was in Sunday school. So I don't know why that sticks in my brain, but that is exactly the first time I've ever done this. And that's where my love of crafting comes from. I think is from that and from my grandmother and my mother and everyone always doing something crafty. So now that we have that, they took some of this twine and before we hook this on, I better close up my ink so I don't end up with ink all over my fingers. And they tied it around, wrapped it around this card twice. So we're just gonna wrap it around and they tied a little bow at this end of it. So I'm just gonna make sure I cut extra to make sure we have enough for a bow, hopefully. You know me, I don't like to measure. I should get better at measuring, but sometimes I just don't want to. I just wanna wrap it around my card and then tie that bow right there. And I think we are gonna have plenty. So they just have a little bow at this end and it comes in just a little bit, not too much. Once you get your bow tied, what I like to do is take one of those glue dots that come in the kit and just use them to hold the center of the bow down because then it keeps it from moving all over and it keeps your bow in place. Whoops. All right, I've got it a little twisted here. Let's see if we can, that's one thing when I tie a bow with Baker's twine, I always end up with my little bow part twisted a little bit, but that's okay, we're gonna leave it. I'm just gonna trim it off a little bit because it's still gonna fit into the card. And then we're gonna take some of those Stampin' Dimensionals, I already have some opened. Flip this over, put some dimensionals on the back of your little boots. I'm just gonna put some in the center and some on each end. I don't think we need them behind each pair of boots. You could use that many if you want to, it's up to you. Um, these cards, Kathy, I think are three and a half by five, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i measure it real quick in just a second, just to make sure. And actually it probably says on the back of the, um, Directions. Let me look at that as soon as I get these backings off. So they're just a little note card size. They are... Nope, it does not say, so I will have to measure them. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to add our little boots. I kind of want to pull this bow over just a little bit. So because it's not hooked down yet, you can just slide that bow over a little bit. And if you didn't want to cover her boots, you could cut some of these boots off if you wanted just to um, make it. But these green boots fit directly over top of her green boots. So it's actually kind of perfect the way they made it. So now that you have that, go ahead and take one of those little glue dots. Just peel it off with your take your pick tool. And just stick that bow down now that it's where you want it. So then it won't move all over on you. All right, let me grab my ruler, Kathy. And we are, yes, five inches by three and a half. So three and a half by five. So perfect little note card size. And then we are going to have this little sentiment, you are capable of amazing things. And I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of that as well. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp sentiments on the inside 
You could add some little extra stamps if you want. Now for this card, they added some of those adorable little, where are they? Where'd I put them? These little clear raindrops that come just, and it's hard for you to see them, but I can see them here and they are so, they just add a little bit of sparkle when it turns, the card turns the right way. If that makes sense, you can just add a few of those on there. And I also think on the inside of the card, it would be adorable to take one of these hearts and stamp a little heart, even in that basic gray ink would be cute on the inside. So we'll go ahead and put that on the inside. So we have just a little heart on the inside. And then it's cute when you open that and you have that twine on the inside too. So there's the first card. Second card, we'll do this no matter the weather. We're in this together. Let's see what we need for that. From the die cuts, we are going to need these little yellow boots. If I can get a hold of this die cut. A little yellow diamond pattern. I don't know what you would call it. And then these super cute flowers because they are actually going to be popping out of the boots. These are so cute. I love this set. I really, really, really hope you got it. Okay, so for this one, it looks like they doubled their twine, then went around their boots, and tied a bow. So we're just going to double it, trim it, go around the boots on this side, and tie a bow over here on the left. It's really not as hard as it sounds. It's just a matter of keeping your twine together. <laughs> Although I may have, I do have my moments where sometimes I make it look more difficult than it really is. But don't tell anyone, right? Keep that a secret. <laughs> no one will ever know, right? It's just on a video on the internet. No one will ever see that. All right, just trim your edges a little bit. And then I would do the same. I would add a glue dot underneath that to keep that from moving. So scoop it up, make sure it's stuck to your, take your pick tool, slide it underneath the knot on your bow and put it right in there. Grab some dimensionals, put it on the back of this. And because I want some on this little piece here and this is a little bit wide, I'm just gonna cut one of these dimensionals in half. You don't have to use a whole one for anything, really. You can cut them in half the whole time if you want to. Stick them on there. And then we are going to go right over this little grassy area. And actually, I'm sorry, it looks like they have this flat. So let's add that flat first. Now you could use your glue dots because those are in your kit. You, but since I have my snail adhesive right there, I'm gonna add my snail adhesive first. And I'm gonna kind of space these where I want it to be. So I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit so I know where it's gonna go. Then I'll add my boots right over top of it. Then put some couple of dimensionals right here. Don't stick them to the back of this yet. You can if you want to, but I kind of like to just stick a couple here when I know I kind of wanna make this kind of look like it's popping out from these boots. I want part of it like kind of tucked into the boot, some of it coming out. So I don't want to put dimensionals on it and then not be able to tuck it under that boot. So I'm going to tuck these leaves in just a little bit, make sure this flower on the left side is poking out. So then it looks like they are just coming right out of those boots. How cute is that? And then again, you can add some of these raindrops if you want to on there. I think that's a cute little touch on this card as well. You don't have to put a lot. There's a lot on here though, so you can put a lot if you want to. You put as many as you want, it's your kit. Go for it. I'm just gonna put a couple on there, like three I think will be good. And then that is the second card done. When I get all three of them done, I'll put them back out here so you can look at them again. Now this one says, let love grow. And we are going to use these gorgeous little boots here with the polka dot pattern. And then there's a little center piece to pop out. Take that little center piece out. The little rabbit goes on here. 
and they have just one of these hearts, but we're gonna put a couple of them on here because why not? There's extra, there's lots of little hearts on here. So you could even add those extra little hearts to your other cards, which was is perfect. All right, for this one, they have a little bow tied off to the side. They just tied a bow. So leave your string on here. Tie a little bow and then you can cut it off after you've tied your bow. Now, if you put your finger kind of in there, you can keep it from getting too twisted. I need to pull that back through because it's... Now, again, I did that with the left side, but not with the right side, so my right side is a little twisted. There we go. It's kind of hard to keep that baker's twine from getting twisted, but do your best. Do what you can. And if you do better than me, congratulations. I am happy for you because I fight with Baker's Twine every time when I do a bow. <laughs> All right, whoops, that end didn't want to trim. So just trim it off and then we'll use a glue dot again to adhere it on there, but let's get some dimensionals on the back of our rabbit, our sentiment and our boots first. I love how tall this pair of boots is with these daffodils coming out of it. I just think they're fantastic. And then we'll just cut one in half again. We'll put a half at the bottom of each side of these boots. We'll put three just across the front of this sentiment. We'll put one up on the bunny's head, that half of one that I had, and then a whole one at the bottom. All right, just peel all your backings off to start with, get it done and over with. And then you can work on getting everything stuck on the card. It's sometimes it's easier if you do it that way. I find it easier anyway, because I feel like I'm doing more of an assembly line process. And now if I was putting the entire kit together, I would go ahead and I would do all four of these cards at the same time. And then I would move on to do all four of the other cards. And what I would do is kind of what I did in the beginning, stamp all my backgrounds first, then go to your other parts, you know, start punching out all of your dies, get all the adhesive stuck on the back of them, then peel all your adhesive, make your bows, you know, however you wanna, whatever step you wanna do first, but that is kind of what I would do. Now these are kind of spaced, kind of in the center, but not quite, so I'm gonna put them almost in the center, and then we want that little bunny coming out by those boots there. I think that's, oh, love that little rabbit. He's adorable. And then we're gonna put our Let Love Grow. And they have that centered, so I am going to pretty much center that as well. And then get another one of your glue dots. You kind of roll it up, I don't know if you can see, it kind of rolls up when you scoop it up, which is fine because that's exactly what we want it to do underneath the knot on this bow. And then we're gonna take that bow and they kind of slid it under this way. Kind of slide it underneath your little sentiment here and hopefully we can get it so it doesn't look all too wonky. There we go, cute, that little bow. We can trim this edge off just a little bit. If I can get it to trim, there we go. And then for the back of these little hearts, I am just actually gonna put glue dots on them. I'm gonna have them flat. So when you scoop those up, you can just lay that down and then peel that backing off after the adhesive is stuck to the back of your heart. And then I like to just stick it to, they put the little heart right above the bunny right here, but I kinda want it off to the side a little bit, maybe one over here. Whoops, as I flip it across the card. You know, wherever it wants to go, I guess. We'll just let it go wherever it wants to go. So there, that is March's Paper Pumpkin, no matter the weather. You get 12 cards in this kit, so four of each of these cards. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this kit. Now, April's kit will be coming out. It's all about family. I believe it makes nine cards. Um... So just look for my link on my business page here, or I will add the link. Um, will be probably I'll probably do a blog post with this so you can see the photos of the cards as well. But thank you for joining me today. 
This was the little free stamp that came. I say little, but it's actually quite big. The free stamp that came in the kit. Here is the regular stamp set that came in today's kit. We can move that out of the way. We'll just put our stamp sets here so you can see them better. Make sure they're on camera for you. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. I live in life, love to inspire you. Stay safe during all this craziness. I hope you all have everything that you need and have a great evening. Bye.